Hey guys, uh, let's talk about BitGet token real quick. Um, now, I I just you know extended this trend line right before this video. I didn't do anything else to it. Uh, this trend line has been there for a while actually. Um, now you can see once we lost it, uh, we did try to reclaim it, but we weren't able to reclaim it. Um, so that's a bad thing. We did reclaim it yesterday, but it immediately got pushed back down. Um, and I'm not sure, maybe there was some news at this time, but anyways, guys, uh, we need to reclaim this trend line first. So we need to get above about a dollar 30, uh, before you can start celebrating. Now, as you can see, I did have this, uh, you know, little bull flag and it broke down to the downside. Now, 30% of the time, these flags break down, 70% they break, you know, upwards. So I'm going to get rid of this right now in this video. <clears throat> it's not relevant anymore. Um, what I need to do now is probably draw some uh, resistances that we're going to face on the way back up. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, this area right here, um, let me make this a little bit thicker though and where we can see it a little bit better um, right there at about a dollar 26 you can see this has been support quite a bit and it has also been resistance quite a bit so after that I believe the next you know place we need to worry about is <clears throat> I mean it appears basically the all-time highs again um, I yeah that's the only draw the line I'm going to draw right here. I'm not going to draw any other lines. I might draw a support line now. Let's see if anything you know matches up here. Uh, yeah, I mean we could say this area at about a dollar sixteen. Um, this you know has been resistance a few times. It's also been support. You can see here. Uh, it's been support here. Support here. Um, yeah, so that's the only two lines I'm going to draw right now. If we lose a dollar sixteen, uh, we're probably headed back down to at least a dollar nine. Um, you know, basically where we had the, the big breakout, uh, at the beginning of April. Um, now, like I said, we need to get above about a dollar twenty six, but then we got to get through this, you know, resistance line. And currently that's about a dollar twenty nine. So, Basically, you can say this whole area, two, three cents here, probably going to be tough to break through it. Um, but once we break through it, you know, I think the all time highs uh, will come very quickly. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure why we went down so much in the recent hours here. Uh, this is the four hour chart, by the way. Um, but it may be due to the fact that, you know, people are in the launch pool and they're seeing that they're not getting much uh, Merle. Um, you know, maybe they thought they were going to get more Merle. And I noticed when Merle opened up for trading on BitKit, which I was kind of surprised uh, that it opened for trading before the farming was finished. Um, there was a, a big drop here. I guess people were expecting, you know, uh, this coin to, to open up a little bit higher. <clears throat> and... Uh, it opened at a dollar thirty-one. Uh, sorry, it's a dollar thirty-one right now. But it opened actually officially at forty cents. But I think I I saw it within seconds at a dollar uh, twenty-four, twenty-five. So basically, you can say it opened at about a dollar twenty-five or so. Um, you know, and then you saw you know the the BitGet token kind of crash down a little bit. But you did see a lot more uh, people put more BGB into the uh, the launch pool. <clears throat> so, I mean, it, it was kind of odd. You know, the price crashed, but more was in the launch pool. I mean, there's been about 14 million more BGB uh, since Merle opened for trading in the launch pool. You know, so... Yeah, it's it's quite strange. the The return on investment is 0 .08, uh, you know, which is you know percent, which is not very good. 
because uh, if you look back at the past projects, <clears throat> they were much higher. Um, there was, I think, ENA or something I, I did, uh, and that was, for example, 6.59%. So, yeah, I mean, there was 84 million BGB, you know, staked for that in the launch pool. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of a little bit shocked, you know, that there's so little return for Merle, but, you know, and then there's, it appears there's not much interest right now, or not as much as ENA, uh, but ENA was one of the uh, better projects probably that has launched recently, uh, from what I've heard from other influencers and things like that. So, <clears throat> anyways, guys, I don't want to make this a video about Merle or anything. This is a video about BGB. Um, but this is just what I observed. Um, so yeah, and at the moment, uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin here. I'm gonna switch over to Binance's chart. So basically, uh, we've we've had a, a quite significant, you know, push down <clears throat> in the recent hours here. I'm not sure what's going on, why we had so much volatility. Uh, in the last hour. Uh, now it's four minutes past or five minutes past here, um, you know, in this little candle. So I'll have to go see if there was something that came out, you know, maybe something uh, um, economically came out. I'm not sure, um, but probably the Iran and Israel thing is over, uh, or so we hope. <clears throat> but we need to get above this resistance line. Basically, this is just local resistance. But basically, 65.5 will be the area to uh, get above. Um, you know, now we've been above, you know, 63.3 several times, and we could not hold it. Um, if I put this on the four-hour chart, you know, this will you'll see it a little bit better. And uh, you can see, guys, <clears throat> we've been above 63.4, 63.3. You know, for a lot of time, you can see here. We were above it. Uh, we even got above 65.5, but you can see where these trend lines kind of intersect, we got rejected. And uh, then we tried to get above this line again, got rejected, then we got above just for a short time. Uh, and you know, and now, uh, well, yesterday we got two candles that closed above, uh, but this one was kind of an indecisive candle, as you can see and another big crash. So, yeah, but you know, this is all based on news, but technically these things are working as well. I mean, it's strange how news and technicals kind of go together, but that's the way it is. Um, but anyways, now we're above, you know, 63.4 or so. Uh, we've held now three candles above it. Um, which, you know, we held one, two, three last time, and then we fell down. So let's see how long we can last. Uh, here we only held two. Uh, here, I mean, we here we held many. So we haven't held more than three in a few days, though. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's what everything looks like with Bitcoin and uh, BGB. And keep in mind the Bitcoin having is tonight. Uh, about four o'clock in the morning my time uh, there's only 63 blocks remaining we got less than 11 hours so don't expect Bitcoin to shoot up uh, it could even crash down a little bit might be a little bit of a sell the news event for some people and the whales may play off that um, but don't panic uh, everything will be fine probably you'll see action in about a month to two months though um, you'll really see that you know the Bitcoin having is the biggest event and uh, it'll it'll make Bitcoin parabolic eventually. Um, anyways, guys, thanks a lot. If you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, share this with your friends. See you guys in the next one.